Roger Federer, regarded as one of the best tennis players in history, has won 20 Grand Slam men's championship matches. Stay tuned because this video is dedicated to his life, career and, of course, his vast car collection. Roger Federer, a professional tennis player, was born in Basel in Switzerland on the 8th of August 1981. Tennis and soccer were two of the first sports Federer played when he was eight years old. He was one of Switzerland's top three junior tennis players by the age of 11. He decided to give up other sports at the age of 12 and devote himself entirely to tennis since he believed he was more naturally gifted at the activity. By the age of 14, he was completely engrossed in the sport, participating in two or three competitions each month, spending six hours a week on practice, along with up to three hours on fitness. He frequently copied Stefan Edberg and Boris Becker, his heroes, to hone his style. Federer was selected to practice at the Swiss National Tennis Centre at the age of 14 after winning the National Junior Championships in Switzerland. When he was 16 years old, he began playing on the junior tennis circuit of the International Tennis Federation. Federer won the Junior Wimbledon Championship and the Orange Bowl in 1998, just before going pro. In 1998, Federer won the boys' singles and doubles titles at Wimbledon. He then became a pro the following year. He made headlines in 2001 at Wimbledon when he defeated Pete Sampras, the defending singles champion in the fourth round. Federer won Wimbledon to become the first Swiss man to win a Grand Slam after a productive season on grass. With a global rating of number two at the start of 2004, Federer went on to win the Australian Open, the US Open, the ATP Masters and the Wimbledon Singles Championships. He held the number one spot at the beginning of 2005 and his accomplishments that year included winning the US Open and Wimbledon singles for the third year in a row. Federer had back issues in 2016 and was forced to withdraw from the French Open to prevent additional harm. Federer won his 18th Grand Slam championship at the Australian Open by defeating Rafael Nadal after six months of injury recovery. Federer graciously honoured his opponent Nadal after his victory. Following his participation in the Labour Cup, Federer declared his retirement from the ATP Masters and upcoming Grand Slams on the 15th of September 2022. Federer wed former tennis pro Mervra Vavranek. The couple welcomed Myla and Charlene into the world in July. Leo and Lenny, their second set of twins, were later welcomed by the couple. He certainly has the money to buy any car he wants thanks to his excellent work. This is the basis for his garage's glamorous appearance. With that said, let's see what cars he has in his collection. Here are eight cars we can see in Roger Federer's garage. At number eight, the Mercedes AMG GT. The most notable and well-known of Federer's vehicles is this one. AMG's widely renowned four liter twin turbo V8 engine is housed beneath its stunning sunset yellow exterior. 500 brake horsepower is being produced with the entire amount of power traveling to the rear wheels. It accelerates quickly from zero to 60 miles an hour in 3.6 seconds. It sounds fantastic too. It's one of the more expensive options in his collection, costing roughly $130,000 when brand new. The materials used inside are in keeping with the high asking price of the GT and of excellent build quality from Mercedes. The inside is anything but spacious, but the driving posture is ideal and the capacitive touch center console controls for the car's numerous performance options are situated conveniently within arm's length. And number seven is the Mercedes AMG G63. Any wealthy sports star's rite of passage is the G-Wagon. They are seen as social prestige symbols, particularly in Europe. Quite loud and intrusive, but in a nice manner. He chose a much more muted shade of white, as seen when a commercial was being filmed. When Roger needs to pack the trunk full of several bits of tennis equipment, the V8-powered boxy beast is undoubtedly his first choice. Roger won't appear out of place cruising the streets in this one, because they are also fairly prevalent, particularly in Geneva. A 12-inch digital instrument display, premium materials and modern amenities like cup holders and a surround-view camera system 
makes this cabin instantly recognisable if you've ever stepped inside an older G-Class, despite the extremely rectilinear design. Both the front and back seats have enough headroom and legroom for taller drivers and guests. The G rear class's hatch still lacks a motorised liftgate, so opening the side hinged gate with a full size spare tyre fitted will require some physical fitness. And at number 6, the Mercedes Benz SL55 AMG. It should come as no surprise that there would be a convertible in the garage, and Roger, he's chosen this particular model. It was offered in a wide variety of configurations, and it's unclear whose engine and trim he has had. The SL55 AMG, with the V8 engine he is so familiar with driving its back wheels, is most likely what he possessed, based on the remainder of the car. This is probably the vehicle that Roger uses to go over the Swiss Alps in the summertime while the roof is down. Only a two-door convertible would ever be offered in the SL class. But to save weight and increase storage space, a fabric roof has been employed on the new model in place of the intricate folding hardtop of the previous iteration. Don't anticipate a large trunk though. The two tiny back seats can accommodate a single passenger on occasion, but they are more suitable for carrying stuff than passengers. Mercedes's innovative air scarf feature, which softly breathes warm air on the necks of the driver and front passenger during cold weather rides, is standard equipment in the luxury interior. And number five, the Mercedes-AMG GLE 63S. The GL family's most potent member is essentially this. However, Roger has subsequently upgraded to this after being seen in and endorsing the original G-Class. A frequent theme in Roger's collection of automobiles is the AMG V8 Twin Turbo, which is also found under the hood of this. One of the best 4x4 Mercedes offers. This vehicle has a ton of horsepower and torque and a fantastic cabin with Alcantara design. Due to a standard limited slip rear differential and an all-wheel drive system that favours the rear wheels and never delivers more than half of the engine's torque to the front wheels, the 5,568-pound GLE 63S thunders out of the bends with authority despite its size. One of the fastest mid-sized high-performance SUVs, it accelerates from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 3.4 seconds and completes the quarter mile in 11.9 seconds at 117 miles an hour. At number 4 is the Mercedes-Benz CLS 450. The Mercedes-Benz CLS class exudes the aura of an appealing work of art that is on full show in a gallery when it is parked. Its carefully chosen arrangement of curves and corners invites the gaze to linger on its graceful form and take in its lovely workmanship. However, once you're behind the wheel, you'll discover that the stylish four-door sedan is more than just a pretty face. The luxurious interior of the cabin welcomes passengers with high-quality materials, precise fit and finish, and a sparkling dashboard display. After Roger won the Mercedes Tennis Cup, he was handed one of them. We think this is his everyday driver. It's a pretty nice automobile with plenty of power and five doors, so his entire family can fit in. Running errands and taking the kids around is a breeze in this stylish coupe sedan because it blends in well and won't draw too much attention. The 3 litre inline six twin turbocharged engine in the CLS 450 is combined with an EQ Boost 48 volt hybrid powertrain. The engine produces a smooth 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. This engine completes the sprint from 50 to 70 miles an hour in 3.8 ticks and accelerates the CLS 450 to 60 miles an hour in a snappy 4.6 seconds. At number 3 is the Mercedes AMG SLS Roadster. Since this is the only vehicle that Roger has owned two of, it is undoubtedly Roger's favourite of the group. His white SLS Roadster is the most well known. It sports an oversized hood, a 6.2 naturally aspirated beast of a V8 and is an amazing looking vehicle. He was seen driving both the coupe and the Roadster, the latter of which is currently more in demand due to its infamous gullwing doors. This version was created as a homage to the original 300 SL gullwing 
which many people deem to be among the most beautiful automobile designs ever created. You already knew Roger had good taste. Rafael Nadal, the second best tennis player in the world, was sitting in Roger's red SLS coupe when the tennis stars were spotted. Number 2. The Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR Only this Range Rover SVR, which is not a Mercedes, is recognised as Roger Federer's vehicle, added to Roger's collection of monstrous V8s. A large vehicle produces a large amount of noise. It's encouraging to learn that Roger owns one because it's yet another mainstay sporting icon. Since Roger enjoys a warm and fruitful working connection with the Mercedes-Benz marketing team, he has been able to acquire several fantastic other cars without having to spend a significant amount of money. A powerful 5-litre V8 supercharged engine with 575 horsepower is the base type of power for the Range Rover Sport SVR, which is designed to excite. The Range Rover Sport SVR, which was created to succeed both on and off the racetrack, can sprint from 0 to 60 miles an hour in only 4.3 seconds and reach a top track speed of 176 miles an hour. The car can turn flatter and faster than any other Land Rover model thanks to the improved SVR dynamic response and SVR sport suspension. And at number one is the Mercedes-Benz EQS. The Mercedes-Benz EQS is the newest vehicle to join Roger Federer's German-dominated fleet. He was observed posing inside his house with a black AMG EQS. This is undoubtedly the result of his lengthy collaboration with the German automaker. And even in the EV space, I have to confess, his taste is delightful. The Mercedes-Benz EQS Sedan's AMG version is the most potent model producing 516 horsepower and 700 pound-feet of torque, with the possibility of increasing those numbers to 751 horsepower and 752 pound-feet of torque. The EQS has numerous luxurious amenities throughout and is lined with stunning, high-quality materials. The attractive amenities include numerous headrest cushions for front and rear passengers, ambient inside lighting and an executive rear seat package. The latter has heated neck and shoulder areas, movable back chairs with massaging features and a personal tablet for operating the MBUX infotainment system. The most remarkable option though is what Mercedes call Hyperscreen, a huge wall-to-wall -wall glass panel that wraps around the infotainment system and spans the instrument panel. Now, after this crazy car collection, I'd like to share one of my favourite quotes from the star of today's video. There is no way around the hard work. Embrace it. Work is required in all you do in life. You don't receive something valuable as a present. You have to put in the effort to achieve your goals, whether they are to get the career you want, pursue a passion or improve yourself. You need to embrace the hard work and put in your best effort. Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to see other celebrity car collections, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel since that will help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.